Hey, hey, hey. The objective of this video is to determine what chi test do I use. So we've got chi-squared distribution. Do I use goodness of fit? Do I use homogeneity? Or do I use independence? So let's get this started. Now, I took this off of the internet. I want to give credit to the CNX organization. I don't know who they are, but I just want to give them their props because they did the work that I don't have to. Okay, so you may want to jot a few notes. So the first question I want to know is, based on this information, how do I know which chi to use? Okay, so here I've got marital statuses, and I've got here particular data that's associated with the marital status. Well, this is going to be a chi-squared goodness of fit because of the overall medical status, you have subcategories of those statuses. That's number one. Number two, if you look at it, all of the percentages add up to be 100%. So again, these are subcategories of the overall big one, so therefore that is why this is chi-squared goodness of fit. And please remember to find the expected count means that you're going to have to get the grand total of this right here. And once you get the grand total, that means that you're going to have to multiply um, that grand total, which is going to be the value down here somewhere, times each of these percentages to come up with your expected number. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, now this next problem, go ahead and read it. Jot down what you want. Now, this would be a chi-square for homogeneity, simply because, well, let's talk about why it's not a goodness of fit. There's no percentages here. Look at the overall picture of it, and we are not... Um, these are not one category here and these are subcategories of it alone because we do have Lake Tahoe and we do have um, Manhattan. The reason that it's not chi-square for independence is because we're not saying that there's an association between where you live and your ethnicity. So that means it's got to be chi-square for homogeneity for that reason. It's neither of the other two so there you go. Let's look at another one. Let's look at this problem. Go ahead and read it. Now, based on the idea that it is women and women only, this could be a chi-square goodness of fit in which all of these should add up to be 100 because we're looking at the women and the women only and here are all the majors of the women. But if I showed you the entire one, and I looked at women and men, this could be a chi-square for um, association because if I ask you the question, does the gender have anything to do with, the, with their major? And with that, also please recognize the only data that you would be given is this, and this. You would not be given any percentages. So again, if I said is there an association between the gender and the major, that would be a chi-square for independence. And again here, these expected percentages are not a part of it. And even if it was, you would know not to use them. Let's look at this example. Now here, they said we want to test to see if the best skis are independent of location. Okay, so they're telling you straight up that's going to be a chi-square for independence. Because they're saying where you go is it dependent upon... Is, it dependent, is your location dependent upon whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced skier? Here, have, please read over this. Now, unfortunately, they tell you that it's a 
do a test of independence. But how do you know, how, did, how would we know it if they didn't tell us to? Because here we want to see if your family size affects or is associated with the type of car that you get. Okay, TTFN, ta-ta for now. I hope this helped.